So I've been messing here. I replaced that piece here. Is, it was totally rotten out. Also, from the other side. And to replace that, I needed to cut out piece from here. And it was also a little bit rotten here and here as well. And I put some of this rust converter on all those places I worked them. Turns this thing nice and black where there is bare metal or yeah. nice I've got this rust here fixed with the new piece in here as well and here down here nothing too fancy but at least it's solid now and then that was not a pleasant job working underneath the car there but now we got this <clears throat> going on. So yeah, I already put some <coughs> rust converter on those rusty pieces. And the really bad rust I cut out. And that's the bunch of crap that came out. Well, did a repair piece here, and now we got this piece going on that will go here. So now I made this piece that goes here, and there is this uh, seat mounting bracket. I'm gonna weld it to that before I weld this piece itself in that piece in now I can weld in that piece next piece going in is this very easy one Why I decided to make that separate rather than making this whole piece in one is just to save material. That one is in. Nice and too strong. I put some rust converter here now. You can see how it changes color. Now let's deal with this corner here. I'm gonna make a template out of this cardboard as usually. that sheet now I'm gonna transfer this here and then I can cut it out
Lunch time, mates. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll continue after the lunch. I also would drill the spot well the holes and now I'm gonna put well through primer. <laughs> Now that one is all welded in. Also did the spot welds from the other side. And I have one last piece. Quite simple piece to, to make here and we will be done with this corner of the vehicle. Let's turn the vehicle around so I can start working on the other side. And now let's check the vehicle outside. Yeah, it's dirty a little bit. But yeah, as you can see, this corner is looking quite nice. Inside, no more rust holes. Yeah, everything is looking nice. But on this side, it's bad. It's very bad. So that's at least as bad as the other side was. So I'm going to start by cutting this roughly off from here and I will go from there. And also from the inside. And funny thing is that the spring holder after I got the remaining floor off here and undid this spring bolt. I was able to just wiggle this thing off so nothing was holding this in. So I have this patch made of two millimeter thick plate. here like so so I'm gonna weld it in next and we will go from there cut off some more rust from here already made a small repair here because it was too rusty and made a new flange here welded in in here now I have this piece made that will go here like so now that's all welded in and grind it now onto the next piece That piece welded in and now we are ready to put that part here. That piece is all welded in and grinded as well. Now I'm gonna start uh, dealing with this part here. I'm gonna slowly 
cut off all the rest and we will go from there so that's what we have going on here now there are several layers and the first piece I need to fabricate is this one one piece fabricated again painted behind also that so I'm gonna weld it in now got this piece removed from here so now I'm gonna prime it ready to get that piece in now goes here so I'm gonna weld it and grind it and we will go from there now I'm gonna clean up this part where the uh, spring holder frame attaches here and then I'm gonna need to make a new one of this so let's do it that going to be that piece which is pretty much gone now I'm gonna use this 60 by 60 rectangular tube to make that strengthening piece and Two of those. All parts are bent up. Now I can weld those together. Before that, I'm gonna drill spot weld holes for for that piece to attach here and for those those will weld in here and I'm gonna prime all those before like this before I can weld it on okay let me weld this this stuff here together and we will go from there Now I'm gonna bolt those pieces in. So I can weld it from here and maybe a couple of other places and then I can remove it for fully welding. Got this piece all welded. Weld it up. And now I can bolt it in there and weld it into the frame. And we will be done with that part. Now that piece is all welded in, nice and strong. 
Next I will start figuring this inner piece here. So I made this flat template. Now I need to do those bends on this plate. Now I'm gonna cut all those corners and then I can bend those flanges parts and later weld those. Now I can cut this into the right shape using my flat template. Okay, now that part is Ready? Now I can prime the branches and I can pretty much weld this in. I got this part cut off here because I could see rust forming there. And now I'm gonna replace that part. With nice new metal. That one's in. Now I'm gonna make this lower piece. That piece is also made. Now I can weld it in here. And that one welded in as well. Next, I'm gonna make a support piece here, which is this one. Goes here, like so. So now this support piece can get welded in as well okay got that all nicely spot welded in and also made a small rust repair here so I got this piece all prepped, all the spot weld holes. And also cut this. Cut to the right dimensions. I can weld this in now. So got this all welded in and nicely grinded as well. Later there will be a skim of filler here. I have some more little rust to cut out from here probably. But now I need to clean this uh, old undercoating off here to see what I'm dealing with. Frame part is fixed as well. So I got small bats here and all this corner is patched up and also repaired the bracket and we'll do it back in plus change the piece behind the bracket as well. So now this corner is done, frame is done, over here, that corner, and the back is done as well, on the outside as well. Next, I will make that inner weaver well piece here, which has the flange for the floor.
so now I'm gonna screw it in so I can mark where I need to cut it on the top here. Have it screwed in. Now I can scribe the cutting lines here. I have it tacked in now and now I'm gonna fully weld this so I have those templates made for those pieces here also for the corner there now I can cut those out of two millimeter thick sheet metal This one is in, and now I'm gonna weld that one in all painted underneath where I can't access later. So let's weld it in. And now I'm gonna weld in this piece here. Last piece going in. So, this corner is all done now, all welded. Nice. Now I will move on to the one more spot on the frame. And that will be quite a tricky one, but I'm gonna make it happen. So see you guys later. <laughs> 